Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vishal Pushkarna. I am an orthopedic surgeon from India. Right now I am working as an assistant professor in Department of Orthopedics, Gujarat Adani Institute of Medical Sciences. So for today's conference, I am going to present a study on functional outcome, complication and readmission rate in bilateral simultaneous versus staggered versus staged total knee replacement. So let us start with an introduction. The indications and safety of simultaneous bilateral total knee arthroplasties have been vigorously debated over last three decades and remain a controversial issue amongst the orthopedic surgeons. Performance of a bilateral procedures under a single anesthesia provides a reduced hospitalization time, an isolated anesthesia risk, a single rehab and a substantial cost saving. Despite the advantages, there are certain disadvantages limit the adoption of simultaneous bilateral TKR compared to a staggered or staged total knee arthroplasty in clinical practice. This include associated risks such as higher rate of blood loss, pulmonary and fat embolism, neurological, cardiac and respiratory complications and perioperative death. So before proceeding in the study further, I think it is better to understand what the word staggered and what the word staged means. So staggered is a specific word given by my boss when I was doing my in, uh, fellowship in arthroplasty back in 2019. So he told me that staggered means a patient who can who underwent second knee within the same admission. So there is no discharge, patient is admitted in the hospital and after few days the second knee is operated. And stage TKR for specifically for this study because stage means that one TKR is done and second you can do any time. But for, 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 for the purpose of the study, we have taken that a second knee will be operated after six weeks only. So stage means after six weeks and staggered means within the same admission. So let us talk about the purpose of this study. The first and foremost important purpose of the study was to assess the functional outcome in bilateral simultaneous versus staggered versus stage TKR and the second most important purpose was to find out the incidence of complication rate and readmission rate in all the three groups. So the scoring system which was used to assess the functional outcome in this study were Womack score, Khojala score and Oxford knee score. So let us talk about the materials and methods used in this study. So study type, it's a retrospective comparative study. Time frame, patient were enrolled in this study with at least two years of post-operative outcome. Data size was 300 patients, 100 patient in each group. And data collection was done with the help of surgical database present in the hospital. So to evaluate the outcome, data on WOMAC, Oxford knee score and Khojala score were recorded for each and every patient. For complication rate, it was divided into two parts. One is major complication and minor. In major complication, deep infections, pulmonary embolism, cerebrovascular accident, myocardial infarction was included and all other complications were considered as a minor. So inclusion criteria, patient who underwent bilateral simultaneous staggered or staged TKR in a hospital. Exclusion criteria, patient who lost follow up. Second, complication or readmission which occur beyond three months were excluded. So this is the case pro forma which was used for the study. So let us talk about the results. So in this study out of 300 patients, 234 patients that is 76.5% patient were female and only 23.5% patient were male. Out of all the females, almost 88% uh, females, they were in simultaneous group while male were more in staggered group that is 29%. Our mean age group in our study was 62.25% while AS score more than 3 was significantly more in staged group like almost around 65%. Now when result were calculated it was found that in staggered group patient were having better knee society score compared to patient who were in simultaneous and staged bilateral total knee arthroplasty group but their p-value was not that much significant. Womack and Oxford knee score were also um, not that much significant in all the three groups, but the Khujala score was better in staggered group. Range of motion was also better in staggered group, especially in the second knee compared to the first knee. If we talk about the complication rate, which was higher in simultaneous group, around 11% and readmission rate is higher in simultaneous group with 9% compared to staggered and stage, which was just around 5%. 
So, in this slide you will see two tables. The table on the top is a demographic characteristic of the patient used in the study. Every score is in mean value and the bottom one is a post-operative functional outcome again in the mean value. In the post-operative functional outcome we have all the scores in all the three groups with range of motion of left and right knee. While in demographic data we have a a sex ASA ratio follow up period and all the scores in all the three uh, groups. So, in this slides we are going to talk about uh, complication. So, complications are divided into two parts major and minor. Everything is red is in major and everything in yellow is in minor complications. In major complication we have MI, pulmonary embolism, cerebrovascular accident, deep infections while minor complication were DVT, superficial infection and UTI. So, if you take a total of these complications, so we have around 11 in simultaneous staggered 5 and stage 6 and the overall in out of 300 patient if we talk about overall complication rate it were around 7.3 percent. So, let us talk about the readmission rate. So, readmission rate were little bit on higher side in simultaneous which were around 9 percent while in staggered and stage it was around 5 percent. And if we talk about the total number of readmission in the study or out of 300 patient, so it was 6.30 percent. So, let us conclude our study. So, this study demonstrates that there is not a big significant in functional outcome when comparing a simultaneous staged or staggered bilateral total knee arthroplasty, but still staggered group shows a better postoperative functional outcome compared with first knee, second knee show better outcome. Our result shows that there is slightly increase in major complication in simultaneous bilateral total knee arthroplasty compared with a staged and staggered group. There is still a lack of evidence to support the superiority of either bilateral total knee arthroplasty which is simultaneous or staged or staggered. Still simultaneous bilateral TK remains the same option for approximately motivated patient and low risk patient. So, before I conclude my talk, uh, I want to show you some articles or some paper which were published recently in 2020-21 and 2019. Uh, these studies are little bit comparable to our study. So, let us talk about the first study. Uh, this study is comparison of simultaneous bilateral versus unilateral total knee replacement on pain levels and functional recovery. This is a good article which was published in BMC Musculoskeletal Disorder, a well-known journal. So, their conclusion was that simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement were associated with a similar reduction of pain intensity and recovery of the functional compared to a unilateral. So, there was no that dif not that much difference. Only difference is the cost and rehab process is very much simple. Okay, when you compare it with a staged one because only one admission one time cost and rehab is also one time so that become very much comparatively cost effective so this is a second article uh, i have mentioned in this talk uh, this was published back in may 2019 it is the difference uh, between simultaneous and staged bilateral total knee arthroplasty, a systemic review and meta-analysis and their conclusion was same what we have mentioned in our conclusion that risk and benefits of both procedures are there and it should be individualized with the patient's need and his medical history. So, this is the third article which I have included. Uh, this article is from the reputed journal The Knee which was published in October 2019. So, they were uh, analyzing the complication rate associated with staged versus simultaneous bilateral total knee arthroplasty in 7747 patients. So, what they concluded was that higher rates of blood transfusion and readmission were associated with simultaneous bilateral total knee replacement while higher rates of mechanical complication and infection were associated with staged bilateral. So, this conclude that yeah, when you do a simultaneous bilateral TKR, chances of blood transfusion readmission rate increases because of the various complication that might be a minor or major what we have also mentioned in our study. So, this is the last article I have included in my study. So, this is a simultaneous bilateral and stage bilateral 
and unilateral total knee arthroplasty their survival analysis the results shows that unilateral group had significant lower knee society score compared to simultaneous one while the percentage of patient who had a thrombophlebitis was significantly higher in simultaneous group no significant difference were found with regard to prostatic failure cardiac complication and the rates of death in these three groups so conclusion was that thrombophlebitis was very much common in simultaneous bilateral group compared to other unilateral or staged bilateral total knee arthroplasty so this is the article which were used as a references for my study and with this i conclude my talk on the simultaneous bilateral stays and staggered total knee arthroplasty thank you very much